Oh, no, not yet. The gray one. No, not yet, but I was also thinking about how uh, I gotta find that guy who has that Plymouth I got those magazines from because somebody else said that he might actually have more magazines in the car. So, hey, if they're free, why not? I still can't believe he was giving those away. Anyway, 66 Buick with Sabre 2 to a hard top. Wish I have to film because I've always loved these full-size Buicks from 65, 66. I had a 65 LeSabre, which used to belong to a friend of mine who was my scout leader. And uh, this is just a nice badass big cruiser. Original interior, original upholstery. Got a little bit of tint on the windows. Beautiful dash. Yeah. I tell you, this is a great show to be at here in Alexandria, Ontario. Lots of surprises, man. A lot of surprises here. You know, one of the things I love about these Buicks from the 60s, specifically 66 to 68, is that they had these razor sharp lines. You know, especially on the front and the, what the hell is that? Ah, the tractor. That's when you know you're in the farm country, you know? Little Rambler, I'd say a 65. And uh, yeah, the owner, he tells me it's a 340 in this, which uh, the 340, they didn't make long. Hey, Jerry, how are you? 340, I think they made maybe 66, 7, 8. I think they only made it like three years. Two years? That's not a long time, eh? 66, 67. Kind of ironic, too, that Chrysler had a 340, you know? Yeah, Main Street, Alexandria, Ontario. Eh? Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing it actually. I don't remember ever seeing a 340 in a Buick. Uh, that's what I figured. The motor is bone stock. I had the same air cleaner on my 300. Yeah. Same damn thing. Oh no, she's all original. Okay. Have you had any problems with that motor? Nope. Because I wonder if the 340, like, you know the 430, the big block? They didn't make it a long time. And I know that I had a friend, he had a 67 uh, Wildcat, and he said the 430. It was a shit motor and he had to ditch it and get a 455 instead. I go to every car show around, uh, Ottawa, everything, and I've never had a problem. Right on. Okay, my Ontario friend is going to fire up that 340 in the LeSabre here. Ah, so many nice people here. Unlike the city, I haven't met anybody here who rubbed me the wrong way. Ah, man. Oh, yeah, look how smooth she is here. And listen to how nice and louder she gets towards the middle to the end. There was, uh, what kind of uh, mufflers are on this thing? Uh, it's just a straight pipe with just regular mufflers. Straight pipe in that shit. <laughs> hey, give it a little bit of gas, man, Jerry. Ooh, yeah, sounds mighty healthy to me. Right on. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. You know my buddy Simon here with the 79 Delta 88, he had the, he bought it and the car, yeah, there was no tailpipe. It had a, an old performance muffler which stopped right in front of the diff. And I mean, it sounded cool and all that, but when you're on the highway for like a few hours, 